Why are you not investing in tax? Ace, realize you might want to tell the truth. I try to. I do not want to lie to you people. So instead of saying, yeah, I know, I am the only one who's honest and truthful with you guys. Everyone else is out there lying. He goes, I do try to not lie. I, I don't want to. I don't want to lie to you. Oh, right. The I fact noticed. he couldn't bring himself to just say, yeah, I'm truthful. I tell the truth. I'm an honest guy. It's very telling. Even a dumb guy like John just, like, can't say those words. He knows how ridiculous that Cardiff Electric, and they're going to be buds, and he's going to make up with KB, and they're going to be buds, and everything ends with getting a beer and everything. And he's actually playing out the scenarios of how it's going to go. <laughs> I'll walk up to him and be like, hey, everything cool? Yeah, everything's cool, and we'll hang out. It'll be good. He's like, he's practicing this in the mirror, it seems like. So, yeah, he's throwing beers to everyone, like the commercial. <laughs> yeah, like Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, and the, Manning yeah. and the commercial, he's chucking Bud Lights around the bar. Oh, no. you're great. It's on, it's on Vince. <laughs> it's around on Vince and Brock Lee. Oh, that was the other thing. I'm sorry, getting distracted. Someone was telling John that the Brock Lee avatar is racist. He goes, how was that racist? <laughs> <laughs> he's so stupid. All right. So anyway. This is Can't John. be racist against Chinese. <laughs> yeah, right. This is John explaining that um, when he meets Patrick Melton, mm -hmm. it's, this is how it's going to go down. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be great. Let's see Fatty Patty. Hey, can you apologize about what you... Yeah, okay, you... Okay. Hey, how you doing? Let's have a beer. That's it. All right. Easy enough. So you would think that John's going to run into Patrick Melton yes, and... He's going to say, do you apologize for what you my kids? Pat's going to go, oh, yeah, of His course, man. I'm sorry about that. Beer. And then they're going to sit down and have a couple beers together. <laughs> you didn't get my letter and the flowers? I apologize. <laughs> Pat Mill's like, I did. <laughs> I don't know what else you want. Look at how he's focused, guy. He's shaped like a teapot. The shortest person. In the room, male or female. So I can't make out everything that's being said, but John's going, Oh, come on, you're gonna goof on my kids? If anybody's going, I'm not doing anything, I'm just standing here. John came up to him. This isn't this bizarre, this confrontation. Because remember, in John's world, they were gonna, he's gonna apologize, they're gonna be best buds. I don't know why it didn't play out that way. Nobody said a word. To Apparently, him. one of these guys is Leo Gunn. And too. he talks to oh, security for real? starts pointing. Yeah, that's what he said on his show today. Leo Gunn was this in this. He kid. didn't say who he was, Nobody but he named off. Word. He kind of talked about all the other people there, and I'm thinking it's that guy with the with the bag. Okay, it's Leo Gunn. Someone uh, told John that you were in the mix in this too. I, I'm, I won't yes. give away your identity. Don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's pitching a security guy by mistake, but nonetheless. All right, so now we see security has been alerted. Who's the drunk guy that stinks? Oh, I think that guy just got spit on by John. Smells, yeah. He's wiping his face off after John spit on him. So now security is walking up, and it's a, a female security officer. She's getting on her walkie-talkie calling in help. He's pretty hurt. And Patrick's looking around there. <laughs> so he just told security. So Patrick Melton looks over at the guy filming yeah. and smiles. And John just told security, that guy's trashing my yes, kids. Yes, I caught that. That's amazing. He just told security. This is the world John lives in. I'm going to tell security I'm trashing my kids. What do you think they're going to do about that, John? What's going to happen there? Carl, listen, I know you're on a roll, man, but... Please. When... I just wanted to see if Tukey was reporting this morning, and th then I see Stutcho's live. Mm -hmm. And when I heard his account of, uh, this would be Friday night, I believe. Yeah, last, last night. Last night. Yep. Yeah, last night. Um, that's when it all hit home to me. You've been asking, is John this stupid? Is he this delusional? Yes. And we've been oscillating a little. Right, he's performative. He's acting like he's all upset about what, this or that. He's, he's removed any doubt in your mind? Yes. Today was the day that that hit. What did he hope to achieve? And By him going? Yeah. Oh. When it, he thought everyone was going to fucking applaud him. Yes. Or, yeah. He's, he's just, the biggest celebrity in the Dabbleverse. See, producer Chris, 
in John's mind, his resume is the only thing that matters. Yes. So when he was talking to Vince the lawyer before he went to AC, mm-hmm. he goes, now, who are the other celebrities that are going to be there? No one else. I'm the only celebrity. So in his mind, this is going to be this huge celebration. They're picking him up on their shoulders. John, you're our guy. Thank you, John. They don't realize that no one has any respect for him at all. So, no one. So I think this is not just about Patrick. I think it's him. It's dawning on him that uh, he's not getting the applause or any recognition. Right. Someone was like, hey, hey, can you get out of the way? I want to see what, what's on tap. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> <laughs> What's that, Gardner? <laughs> so I want to go back home where all the Uber drivers know my name. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> Stevie Tomatoes. Oh, I just muted it. <laughs> Did he just say this guy's trashed my kids to another security guard? Yeah, I... this guy trashed my kids. Oh, my God. So now another... Uh, whatever, security comes up. <laughs> I don't think he said it before. I think before he was just telling the woman, this guy's recording, this guy's recording, this guy's recording. I heard trashing my kids, I swear to God. Oh, okay. Maybe, Maybe I need boy. to enhance the audio a little bit. But yeah, when this other security guard comes over, he points right to me, this guy trashes drunk. my kids. Okay, let's, let's, I'm backing it up and a little bit. I want to see this. This is nuts. <laughs> Guy. Yeah, so he just, the, the other security guy walks up. Hey, what's going on over here, guys? And John goes, this guy right here trashed my children. Yeah. <laughs> In other words, them fighting words, I guess, right? I always take the side of someone pointing at everybody. <laughs> yeah, I know. belligerent. Oh, right. John's the one who's acting up in all of this. Patrick is just standing there. He's literally just standing there. He's literally there. just standing there. <laughs> Oh, he really is short. Yeah, he looks terrible. He's taping. He's taping. Yeah, he's pointing at everyone who's filming him on their phone. That guy's got a kid on legs. (laughs) Seeing John's legs and feet were the best part of this video. (laughs) Yeah, right. He calls, he calls everybody else out. It's so ridiculous to me that he thinks he's better than everyone. <laughs> he's such a tiny little man. And, uh, yeah, I, let's play Melton's recap of this because he went back into his room afterwards and got online and gave us his perspective. Man. Again, Luke, my lost interest. Tiny little man. Go to their YouTube channel. Subscribe. They're awesome, or he's awesome. My lost interest is always updating us on the important clips from all these well, shows. Uh, but, all right. But shout out to this. Flimsy Greenberg for bringing us that one. Oh, who was that who brought that? Flimsy Greenberg. Thank you, Flimsy Greenberg. Yeah, we've always that. wanted to see John IRL, and that's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. What well, uh, All right. This. This was, wild. this was a wild one. Um, uh, so everybody's gone. I'm dead tired, so I'm going to bed shortly. This will be a short stream, but I thought it'd be good to talk about what the fuck just happened. So we go down uh, stairs. Me, Mario, movie star, fingernails. You've all seen the tweets by now. If you haven't, oh boy, go check Twitter. So we walk downstairs, me, Mario, Flimsy, Rob, and we meet up with another fan down there who's got a you know, a location on John. And he's in the B bar, the center bar in the Borgata. And we're like, kind of like hanging back, just talking and laughing. We're watching him wander around the bar. He's one, he was wandering around the, the center bar. So finally we're like, all right, we're going to do this. Let's do it. So I just walk up and John's there. And John's walking around the bar trying to get noticed. This is literally what he's trying to do. We, we watched him for several minutes before he went over. He's circling the bar. So sad. Phone up, elbow up. You know, guys who talk like this on the phone, their elbows way up. <laughs> and so I walk up, and I see him, and I just go, John, John, what's up, baby? And he walks away, and he comes back, and he goes, are you going to Paul? He comes right up to me. We're... we're Breaching distance. It's just me and him. Uh, yeah. Everybody else is kind of standing back. Do you have John's rebuttal to this, though? Um, I have a couple of clips from 
John show this morning. I wasn't able to get his full rebuttal, but I did watch it. So do you want to fill in any gaps? Well, just, just the phone call I thought was interesting where he said, I, I, I was pretending I was on the wife with on the phone with my ex-wife. Yes, that was that like, was interesting. So he's just like, I'm talking to my ex in order to make it seem like he had an important call. And he goes, I, I wasn't talking to my ex. It's like, no, you're always lying. We know that. And nobody admits that he's lying. We're just like, no, we knew. It's not even a real phone. It's filled with candy. <laughs> yeah. Got out of a claw machine 20 minutes earlier. What the fuck? <laughs> and he's like, are you going to apologize for what you said to my kids? And I keep saying to him, like, you know, I'm sorry you got hurt. Like, they're jokes. It's a podcast. You say a lot of shit on your podcast you don't mean. Yeah, I did hear him say in that other video I can't find the first initial interaction. I did hear Patrick Bowen say, yeah, they were jokes, John. <laughs> Dude, like, fucking get over. I'm not physically going to their school and tripping them on their way to right. class like jesus christ this is funny uncle christian in the discord says how many comeback lines did john think up after they went their ways <laughs> oh you're right that's what he was doing back at the bar this corner i should have said this and then that jerk store <laughs> you say a lot of shit on your podcast you don't know you know you're just talking shit and he goes, are you going to apologize for what you said to my kids? <laughs> He's not even hearing the words that I'm saying. And I said, I'm sorry you got upset, but John, and he just walks away. He just walks away. He storms off. And he goes to the far side of the bar uh, and sits down. Now he sits down where he can see us. So we all get a drink and we're standing there. And some of us are smoking, we're laughing. He's over there at the bar drinking, drinking, seething. You see him just watching us laughing. <laughs> That's another thing that happened on the show this morning when I was watching John. I didn't get a chance to watch all of it because I was prepping for the show. But John was saying how he didn't even have any beers. Hmm. He goes, I had one beer. I wasn't drunk. You know, I, I didn't even get a chance to drink. But then later in the show... Or maybe it was earlier in the show, because that's how dumb he is. He said he got uh, a martini when he first got there. A strong martini, I think is what he oh, said. Oh, oh. Followed by two beers. And then he started walking around. Oh, then he went to the blackjack table, and he lost his money quicker than, a, than one of the servers came over to get him uh, free beers. He was all pissed off about that. I've been there. <laughs> no, I've been there. <laughs> he, he broke down the math even further, where it was one martini, one yeah. beer... Then I got one beer to go. To go, yeah. So that was a different beer. That doesn't count. I wasn't sitting down drinking. That was to go no, beer. Yeah, he's airport. working it off while he's walking. He had a Bloody Mary for uh, breakfast. Let's see. So and Christina Marie, my sister-in-law, is with drink. Milton in AC right now and asking airplane. to send the link. I will do that. Let me play the rest of this video, and I'll send the link. Having fun. There's five or six of us at this point laughing, having fun, joking around. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We're all just standing there having fun. John's watching us. We keep, everyone keeps going. It's uncomfortable. Everyone keeps going. He's just staring at us. And you just see him over there drinking. <laughs> just getting angry. <laughs> just getting angry. He stands up. And he comes over. He walks down the steps over to our group. There is one female security guard uh, at the entrance to the bar by the steps. So John comes up right to me and he goes, Are you going to apologize for what you said to my children? And I tried the thing again. Like, John, I apologized on your stream. And I'm here to say I'm sorry. I'm here to squash this. I'm here to make peace. I'm sorry that I offended you. I'm sorry that I hurt you. But I'm not saying it right. You hear what I'm saying? I'm, I'm apologizing for the wrong thing. But also, Patrick Melton had reached out to John before this even happened hoping to squash the argument. I don't know what his angle is. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe he'll pop out in a minute. But uh, this has been in the works, so I think John feels like he has the upper hand because of this. Oh. I mean, John's talked shit about Patrick Milton, as we know, and vice versa. So it's one of these things where it's just like, John, an what's an apology going to do? Who gives a shit? Either like, move on or don't. Pick one. Yeah. What, do you, what, what are these magic words you need to hear in order for the fucking beanstalk to grow? Gives a shit. Yeah, whatever offended you has already been said. Right. It's, yeah, it's and he's true. saying he's not going to say it anymore. So right. I don't know what else you want. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it goes back childish. to John still thinks the only reason uh, Melton said anything about his kids is trashing them at all is because of that brutal song that John wrote. <laughs> <laughs> all I ever did was Fatty Patty. What's like? He thinks he hurt him so much with that song that that's why he's going after. Well, also, 
I brought up to John many times. I go, you never talk about you talk about me talking about your kids all the time. You never say anything about Patrick Melton doing it. He goes, I don't care. I don't care about Patrick Melton. I don't even know who he is. He's forgotten. The reason he's mad at Patrick Melton is because Patrick Melton put the StreamYard link to John Cho in his Discord, and that's when the shit porn. Happened on John Shoney in the cover. Oh, right. That's why he's mad at Patrick Melton. He doesn't fucking remember that. I had to remember week. that for him. That's why you're mad at him. Not because of the kid thing. You told me you're not mad at him about well, that. Now he is. easier for him to remember one thing. He, he has to mad. generate something in his mind that he's angry about, and he just that's his go-to. And it's like, you're in the wrong. I'm in the right. Okay. I'm apologizing for his interpretation of... And... You can tell he's very drunk. He's having trouble walking down the steps. He's... He's wearing a, a blazer, and he's all, and you. Now, a couple of people said that his breath was, I didn't know that this was a thing, John smell. But a couple people said his breath could take the paint off a of Chrysler. Um, I, as, he's, as he's in my face yelling, you better apologize. You never talk about my kids again. You better apologize. Of course, I'm not, you know. I'm trying to say, I'm here to say, I'm sorry that you got upset. I keep like saying that, and I'm not apologizing correctly for him. And it's making him angry. And we're all laughing and just having fun. Everyone's in a good mood. And this is getting him very, very upset. And um, he goes to like... So we just kept hanging out at the B-Bar because he wanted to hang out at the B-Bar and they made him leave. And they're like, you can't go near him again. Don't go near him. So you got like a warning from security, it sounds like. And there's like, all right, you got, you can't be around this guy. We don't want any fights breaking out. Um, so, yeah, John's hanging out alone. I'll tell you what happened after he left because we had some spies and it's worse than you think. Before you know it, this female security guard, I guess she called for people. And before you know it, there's nine security guards there. I know that because I counted them. I was like, there are nine security guards here all of a sudden. And I mean, like ninjas out of nowhere. And he just starts, Stuttering John starts um, justifying his behavior. And he's like, they, he talked about my kids. So he's like <laughs> fighting security guards at this point, like trying to get to me. Like, not fighting, but like, you know, like push, like. He starts thing. yelling in that video, like, these guys are following me around. They won't leave me alone. <laughs> I walked up to you because we knew where you were. I tried to have a conversation. You he walked away. And then we just went back to our group. And you made a spectacle. He made a spectacle of going to Vegas. Yes. And then his upset that people are following him around. Or, sorry, Atlantic yeah. City. Shit. No, I'll go through some of the tweets he put out there because he was pretty much like he always does. Meet me in Pickwick, 3 p.m. anytime you want. And then someone showed up at Pickwick Pub looking for me. Can you believe this? He loves to be the victim, but he's setting it up for all of this to happen. Absolutely. He wants this to happen, and then he does it as soon as it starts to happen. Right. And, uh, yeah, we'll show where he was antagonizing people oh, yeah. on Twitter. Just after this saying, happens. I come in peace. <laughs> yeah. A drink. And just got in your own fucking feelings and seethed about it. <laughs> and then came over to start a fight. We saw all the security guards come over. They split us up. Um, they take John over. John starts, I'm not kidding you, ask Peter Sky Parker. This comes out of John's mouth. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> he says it. I wish I had my scream echo voice. Oh, oh no. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> I'm stuttering John <laughs> to which everybody went. Hmm? <laughs> What's that now? It's hysterical. Holy shit. All right, so let's talk about John's side of the story. Okay. Because we did get some of that today. John claims he wasn't drunk. But wait, he spit in that guy's face. He did spit in that guy's face. I don't think on purpose. I think he's just spitting. I, I think oh, it was okay. Just cool, yeah. <laughs> All right. Like it just came out. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. That happens. Sorry uh, to interrupt. See, John, no, no. we defended you. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. I just, I just think you're a gross person that has saliva flying out of your mouth at all yeah. times. It's incidental. <laughs> yeah. But I'm starting to think the whole standing there yelling, he's trashing my kids, was John feeling he's on home turf. You know, Jersey's like yeah. Long Island. Right. If these people hear oh my that God. somebody was trashing someone's you're... kids, the, the, everyone's going to stop playing the slots. Wow, you're join right. Join me. <laughs> you're right about that. He's like, this is East Coast. You don't belong here, yeah. Melton. 
Yeah, he was talking about how he was wasn't sure if he was going to go or not, but it'd be fun for the fans. Yes. I, I didn't see any fans in that video. No, I didn't either. So let's see what they, they arrived Saturday. Oh, okay, all right. John is not having a good time. Let's look through his recent Twitter feed. Hey, Devilverse people, I came here for fun, but so far it has been nonstop incitement. I'm not a violent person, but it's getting close to outright harassment. This whole thing has been a debacle from the start. And then this one. Hey, Fatty Patty, email me. I'll give you my room number. Then we can talk. And then uh, he says, hey, man, Vince the Lawyer is a legitimate asshole that I could single-handedly get him disbarred for playing my messages or my message without consent. California's a two-party state. Stay tuned. John got very upset with Vince the Lawyer for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. One of them being he didn't realize that John left a voicemail for Vince and Vince sent it to Shuli and Shuli played it on the BS show yesterday morning. And John didn't realize that that happened. He got very upset about that. But that was just the beginning of what he's mad about Vince for. The other thing is Vince gave out the room number to Atlantic City on a show. So as soon as John checked in and got in the room, the phone starts ringing. Vince paid for the flight. <laughs> yes. Paid for the room. Which is hilarious. It is hilarious. Even about. after it's unplugged. Yeah. Typical. Um, but the other thing is, and this is the thing that I've been trying to tell That's Chad funny. this. He wouldn't John listen to me. Vince is trolling you. He's not yeah, your friend. He no, he's like my troll. friend, Carl. He literally said that. He's Blanc more my friend than he is your friend. Oh, oh, oh. It's all you, buddy. That's what this is about. So there was a guy who called in to Vince's show who said, because Vince convinced John to fly to Philadelphia. Still Spirit Airlines for some reason, but okay. <laughs> LAX to Philadelphia and then take the train from Philly to Atlantic City. But then a, a fan called into Vince's show and says, John, I'll pick you up from the Philly airport and drive you there. Where are you going to be? What terminal? So Vince photoshopped the terminal that John was going to land at to send this guy to the wrong place. This is how the John wrong described airport. or the airport. Yeah, you sent to Newark. He said, "Oh, that, right." He sent the guy to Newark to go pick John up, and John was flying into Philly. So Vince has been fucking with John nonstop so far since he's since he's been there, and and none of this actually helps Vince out yet. Vince should be waiting until he gets there with his camera guy to be doing all this shit, in my opinion. But I don't know how to troll John. Uh, what do I, I, I have a theory if your Vince is there, and that's who plugged the phone back in. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, got, I actually have that clip, and then we'll get back to this. This is from this morning's show. John, from his hotel room. <laughs> For the past two years, convicted murderer Christopher's... Christmas morning all over again. It's unbelievable. And his mother. Hello. My refrigerator is running. Why? Yes. <laughs> so it's tonight that he has a suite, I guess. Yes. He had to, he had to move out of this place. Just had to unplug it again. I thought I unplugged the thing, but I guess I did. <laughs> Someone was appointed back in, according to you. Uh, Cardiff's theory there. Thank you, Christian Black, for sending me over a couple clips from uh, this morning. show. I appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, so John's now mad at Vince. That didn't go well today. Uh, then he says, a guy from Maryland said he traveled all the way to see me, got here, and called me a has-been. <laughs> Why come? Because <laughs> it's satisfying. <laughs> because you didn't read the super chats I sent you that said the same thing. Right. Oh, this is funny. This is a tweet from John. Hey, man, I'm here alone. Where are all these tough guys? This is the same guy who also posted, it's been nothing but people trying to incite me, and I'm not violent. Like, which is it? Which do you want to have happen here? Old fans. Carl, I, I, you know I'm not one to butter your buns. Yes. Ever. But I was listening, a, a, it was probably a week or two ago you were doing the show, and I was listening, and you started talking about, can you imagine some... Some film director, some director in Hollywood, some writer is like, hey, we should get John for this project. Let's see what he's up to. And just start <laughs> scrolling through this Twitter feed. Yes. And again, it's every fucking day. It's the same. He has no good day that no. they can look at his Twitter feed and think, he did that let's one, hire this guy. He did that one tweet where he's just like, for people who don't know about the dabble verse, I have these people who are fucking with me. Yeah. As if people are going to be scrolling through all this. And I don't coming. think Kevin. <laughs> you think Kabloni Factory is going to be upset with me? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying from John, he's oh, going to strike yeah. It's not transformative and I don't think at all. Kevin is going to have anyone's back. So no, no, no. Oh, trust me. When he sees me in AC, nobody trusts you. He's not going to be the tough guy that he is on the air. Trust me. Oh, I, oh no. 
Yes, he Trust will. me, he will, <laughs> he, will, he will walk away from me. <laughs> yeah. He's not like, not like he is behind a screen with his fast food microphone. <laughs> I like Mini Paulino. <laughs> who just laughed at one of my jokes. <laughs> it's so perfect. <laughs> Even the detail, the Lawrence Taylor helmet in the background. Yeah. At the lamp. <laughs> Where's the manga? <laughs> Kim Kardashian is with Pete Davidson because he's the new flavor of SNL. The new face of SNL, Pete Davidson. With his beanpole body. Please, people. Subscribe to my buddy. I was in the commissary. That's like the cafeteria at NBC. <laughs> where I ate for free. <laughs> <laughs>